have been discussing the differences between the male and the female brain. And we've already discussed how when men get anxious and stressed out, their testosterone drops. And they prefer to go in what's called the man cave. They prefer solitude to raise their testosterone. And when women are anxious and stressed, their serotonin drops and they prefer communication. And they really don't like it when men come in and say, I'll fix this. They just want to talk. They want to ventilate. They want to communicate with somebody that wants to hear them. Now, this was very apparent to me in a recent situation. I had determined that I wanted a grave for my beloved pet, Luke, up on the hill overlooking the entrance to my property. And my good friend, my firewood buddy, my roommate of long time, was going to help me dig this grave. Luke was a big beefy boy and we need a deep grave to avoid the coyotes from digging him up. So Dave was helping me dig the grave as planned and we were going to de-escalate my emotions by watching a movie later on that evening. Well, Dave was helping me and on the way down, he slipped and he fell pretty severely. And I noticed he was shaking. He wasn't injured, but he was shaking. And what did Dave do without speaking a word? He got in his pickup and took off. Well, now with this information on the differences between the male and the female brain, I didn't take it personally. I didn't react. I said to myself, okay, Dave's going into that, building his testosterone, being alone, male situation. So this is a perfect example of how to be non-reactive between the differences in the sexes. This had nothing to do with me or him not caring about my feelings. And it had nothing to do with him breaking our movie plans at all. Dave needed to take care of himself. Dave had a bad fall. So just like the differences between male and females, we've gone over how pets are naturally in the alpha brainwave how they come and comfort us in our greatest need. I have had so many of my psychotherapy clients say to me, oh, is that why my cat jumps into my lap when I'm feeling the most suicidal? Yes, there is the resonance and entrainment. Fish swim in schools, birds fly in flocks, Women, when they're working together, often have their cycles at the same time. So we want to hang around the people with higher vibrations because there is this entrainment to the vibrational patterns. So if you don't care much about pets, that's okay. Um, don't watch the rest of this. But I'm going to include a few seconds of a video of Luke in some of his last days on this earthly planet. And again, thank you so much for spending this time learning about brain chemistry and with me. So science has very clearly shown that we need to do new events for better brain health. Here's Luke in the last couple of days of his life on this planet as we know it. Thank you.